it looks like a lot of clothes but it doesn't look like nearly a thousand euro worth of clothes <sighs> hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're in for a good video because i have the biggest zara haul i've ever once done i won't even tell you how much i spent to be honest i actually don't even know and I don't want to look at the receipt all I know is that it was more than the last time so that that's not a good sign but what is a good sign is that this video is in collaboration with Man Point Shopping Centre so if you're from Cork you're in for a treat because one of the viewers of this video all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel follow on Instagram and also follow Man Point over on their Instagram you will be in for the chance to win a 100 euro Zara voucher so going to give you a little bit of inspo. Uh, some of the things are a little bit old because of course it takes me so long to get around to these videos. I'm the worst blogger ever that by the time they come in stock that they're sold out but I promise I'll be changing soon because I'm done college a long last next week. But a lot of the stuff's actually new too because in the course of waiting to film this video I ended up buying four separate orders. So some of the things are a little bit older but some of them are quite new as well. So let's get straight into the video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The first thing is this shirt. I need to say it's way too big for me. I got it in a large. They only had a large left. Being honest I would have preferred it in a small or at least a medium because I do like things oversized but I think this is a little bit too oversized. You are meant to wear more. It's kind of like a shirt jacket, like a shacket. So you can wear it open to with um like jeans or something but I have nothing under it right now. I just added this little chain from Zara as well. Everything is linked in the description as well but I just thought that this looked really cool especially over these pants because these pants are quite tight at the thighs and then they go flared at the end. Now one thing about these if you're a five footy like me they are so so long as you can see so I'm gonna have to get them taken up but they have a nice little kind of kick flare on them and there's a little slit at the side. Next up then I got these like kind of crooked heeled cowboy boots and they look so cute with these pants as well so I'm going to pop both of these on with a different top and show you what they look like. So next up we have this top oh my god it was a struggle to get into but once you're in it, it is divine you can kind of change the arms up as well you can kind of pull them up a little bit you can pull them up onto your shoulder oh that's kind of cute I like that now I think that's probably how it's meant to be um I couldn't pull up the zip on myself but that's kind of the oh that's beautiful I like how you can kind of change it up a few times like have it like this or have it like this so it kind of versatile um top and again these pants are not going to go to fashion they actually feel like you're wearing tracks pants but they look much dressier i'm going to get them in black as well and i think they have them in purple and then i just have them with these cute cowboy boots that are the most comfiest cowboy boots ever so that is the next outfit so this is what they look like they're huge big wide pants again way too long for me but i'm gonna get them taken up now this looks very summery but you could definitely like make this into a winter outfit like if you wore this with a black leather jacket and black pants you're going to make it look wintry but if you wear this with like a cream polo neck and a big scarf it's wintry and pair it with the boots as well but i absolutely love it and again staple pieces guys summer winter summer winter you can mix and match wear them all year round just mix them with kind of an opposite thing so if you're wearing a summery top a uh, wintry pants or a wintry pants summer top whatever and then you can make it work or Let's do this. If you want to go more casual, you can kind of wear these two together because this is so tight as well. You can kind of roll it up, fold it over like this. You can turn it into a crop top with the kind of matching pants. I love this vibe. And then I got this kind of a fringy jacket. Again, perfect for summer and winter. I got a too big of a size again, guys. Once they have something that I love, I'm like, I don't care if they don't know my size, I'm still getting it. So could wear like a big jumper underneath this, could wear it to like a festival, but I just think it looks so cute now over the two of these. It looks really nice having all the kind of different neutrals as well. Or else I have two other options. I have, oh, this is going to be divine. <gasps> Stunning. Like this is, oh, I cannot wait to wear all these out. Take off the tags. Like, look at this. It's like a cropped, funky, oversized trench. You can pull in the sides to make it smaller as well. Right, so you can wear it like really big and baggy. Like, oh my God, this is just the biggest vibe of all vibes. And it's a little bit longer at the back. Has a hood and the colors just all together look so good. Shock horror, another oversized piece, guys. I'm gonna literally get so fat in the winter to fill. It has a tail on the back, which I don't like when it's closed, but I like it when it's open. But it's so, it's such light material, you can literally tuck it into the back. 
chuck it into the front without any bulging or anything and as you can see guys these pants are just something that you need to get for this season because of their track sequence but they're dressier and they go with literally everything like this now did you see how that just went from like that to that like it's so easy to make things like a little bit dressier this now with like a black denim jacket or something or a black leather jacket or even one of those ones like are making outfits here really nice up I got one of those ribbed dresses it's the same color and material as the pants and it just has like the underwire here I like that it's long but I also like that I can bag it on my tummy because like I want to be able to breathe as well but you can still have it kind of tight on your bum then and just love the color so easy to wear I think that this would be so nice now with those black boots so like thigh high or knee high boots would look really cool because it's so long that they would go like underneath it but also if you don't want to go down the dressy route with this you can wear it with docks or chunky runners and then this is another thing that I got this is probably the best thing that I bought because it's a lightweight raincoat which is exactly what you need in Ireland all year round because sometimes it can get like really kind of sweaty weather but it's lashing like today and at least you have a hood it's just like a little raincoat really nice and lightweight perfect for a festival because it's so skinny material that you could literally roll it up into a ball and put it in your pocket <laughs> like you, it would fit in a bum bag and I just love the colouring and again you can pull in the side to make it skinnier or looser and it came in a few colours, it came in sage green, there was a cream one as well, I just thought the black would be so easy for um, more dressy wear, like you could wear this over like a nightclub dress, it's super handy actually if you're going out and it's raining, there won't be a cloakroom and you need a jacket, this will literally take off and scrunch up into a ball and because it's like wrinkled material anyway, doesn't even matter, just fling it away. I won't try these on because they're just t-shirts and they're actually quite, this one's autumn enough, it's just a basic t-shirt. I think they're so nice to um, even wear in the winter, you could wear like a pole neck underneath it or wear with Spanx leggings, jeans or a leather jacket. I think it's handy as well when you're in autumn and it's not exactly winter yet, like if you wear jumpers you'll be sweating in the club, but if you're wearing like a vest or a crop top you'll be freezing. So at least with a t-shirt you can kind of make it winter esky as well. So that was the first one. Now this one's very summery but still I love it. It's a nice abstract kind of a picture. Do you remember a few years ago when being called basic was a the biggest insult ever? Like he wants to be a fashion queen and who being basic is like a compliment. So this is one of the basic things I got. It's like I wouldn't wear this under it. I'd wear like a lace bralette or something. It's really cool. Kind of a boxy unusual style t-shirt but the jeans are just divine. These are the jeans. They're a cropped fit kind of cropped wide leg fit here they like this next up we have a really similar dress to the other nude one it just has a square neck on it and it's the nicest material ever it literally sucks you in and it's really long doesn't have any slit in it but just looks so so flattering on gives you a bit of a bum even if you don't have one like me gives you a bit of a push up everywhere to be honest and it definitely does cinch in the waist it's really really nice can make it like casual with the um rain jacket that i showed a while ago literally docks or like chunky runners with this would look so cool as well was ever a top that was to be for me was this one oh my god look at the color i love the puff i actually wish it was long the whole way around but i do like it at the back like this like this for a night out with a pair of white shorts it would just be so stunning it definitely is more summer though so i'm gonna have to put it away for next year look at the details on at the top of it it is so stunning and you can always tuck in at the front if you want to bring down the puff a little bit and you could tuck in the back as well so it doesn't go as puffy with a tan and then these jeans i'm really impressed with these jeans except for the fact that they are more mid to low like they're meant to be like here but my body just doesn't do that so i'm pulling them up a little bit they are getting me a bit of a camel toe though so i'm gonna have to try like pull them a little bit high waist or else just lose this but no i love the color of the two of them together i actually haven't seen jeans like this in so long the only issue is they're on the lower waist side so yeah but at least with it like it's okay wearing them like this with like a big jumper over them except for the fact i can feel myself kind of flying over but your look they're cute anyway and i love how they're like that kind of unusual shade next up i have the most traumatic pair of jeans that i've ever gotten into my whole life Usually when I put on mom jeans, I expect the worst. I'm like, they're going to be too long on me. They're not going to suit me. But then I started trying Zara ones and I was having luck with them. So I slipped them on and I was expecting them to get a little bit tight around my thighs and they didn't. And I was like, oh, unreal. They're, they're actually like mom jeans on me. Until I came to my bum. And I don't have a bum. Like, I, I just don't. They would not go over my bum. It took me 20 minutes to pull them up. 
these are the smallest jeans ever like oh I'm gonna keep them but I'll never be able to wear them if I need to breathe basically top but I'll definitely always have to have something tucked into it but yeah they're really nice I did get this pair too I feel like these aren't actually mom jeans these are more like um wide leg jeans these ones are classic mom fit then and they're kind of like like who needs this much jeans not me a white wash black um jeans and they're mom jeans and i'm just going to get them cut so that they're frayed as well at the end because rolling up your jeans actually makes your legs look shorter fun fact and having them too cropped makes your legs look shorter so you want them to show a little bit of ankle with a fray and then that'll make your legs look much longer so they're basically the same just a slightly different style because they get tapered at the ends last but not least this top you've seen it already but isn't it just so cute i love the unusual cut of it and it does have kind of like an open back you can close up the buttons more if you want or else you can leave them open the buttons are so small that you actually can have the option of leaving them open and i think that these look nice with these jeans too because it's cropped so at least it doesn't look like the jeans are too high and yeah it's just super easy to like really dress up like i wore it with white jeans and it looked super dressy or else you could wear it with like a hun bun in these jeans and it doesn't look half as dressy but again leather jacket denim jacket and it's just going to be kind of like more casual than that way so yeah that's all of the outfits guys when I'm looking at the mess on the floor, it looks like a lot of clothes, but it doesn't look like nearly a thousand euro worth of clothes. <sighs> right guys, so that is the end of the video for today, but don't worry, I have another Zara haul coming soon. And there's also gonna be some H&M and other stories and then some other bits in it. I'm gonna do like an awesome styling tips and tricks and just an autumn try on haul in general. And that'll be coming very soon too. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already because there is going to be a lot of fashion and beauty content along with some girly chats on this channel. I'm gonna be posting once if not twice every week so make sure to subscribe and also if you want to be in for the chance to win all you have to do is like i said subscribe follow both me and my point and also leave a comment below thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye